Hey everyone, so there's a story from a couple episodes back on my main channel that really caused kind of a stir on the internet and it really piqued my interest because apparently the woman who was labeled the Karen in this video uh, is actually a fellow YouTuber and you know, seeing as how that almost never happens, this stuck out to me as an especially spicy and scandalous tale. A TikToker who goes by the username Z Pierre and runs an ice cream business recorded an encounter with a relatively successful YouTuber, I think like 150, 160,000 subscribers, called Unstoppable Morgan on uh, Jensen Beach in Martin County, Florida, following a miscommunication in the parking lot where, according to both parties in their aftermath statements, Morgan was pulling out of a space and didn't like that OP wasn't waiting for her to do so. This led to a verbal confrontation where some pretty unfortunate things were said, especially one line in particular that Morgan decided to drop that was, or has, put her in some hot water with the internet, so to speak. And OP wasn't totally spared either. She eventually even felt the need to turn her comments off because of the flack she herself was getting, and here's why. The initial clip features something that I and much of the internet hates in these kinds of debates, edits in post-production. And I'm not talking about a couple mild quick cuts, maybe a couple seconds lost here or there. Check this out. Hello, hi, there's a white lady. She's not letting me go. Thank you. There should be a charge for every dumb bitch. I'm sorry. Don't yeah, they coming. Don't yeah, they coming. Oh, they coming? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Miss uh, Ice Cream Truck Driver. Yeah, she's still here. She's right here. Yeah. Over here. Do you even have a business license? I'm Do you sorry? have a seller's permit? Do you have a seller's permit to be yes. selling I'm not ice cream? I'm talking to you. That's her talking. Do you have a seller's I'm by permit? My vehicle. She's by Do me. you have a seller's permit? It don't matter. Oh wait, it don't matter. Oh, it don't matter because I'm black. They go to police right matter. there. Oh, they go to police right there. Thank you. Thank God, they don't. Yes, mean. I see the police officer. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay. How you doing? Yes, I called you. She just jumped out her car and tried to fight me. She threw her dog in the process. She's intoxicated. I have the excessive and kind of sporadic edits here led to a lot of questions about how truthful OP was being about her own hand in the drama, and some speculated that perhaps she had said something really provocative to Morgan and removed it to tip the scales of public opinion more in her favor. Not that two wrongs make a right, obviously, but they certainly do make two wrongs. But alas, OP responded to these accusations the right way by following up a few days later with the full unedited footage of the argument between them. Let's watch. 61312 0902. Yeah. Um, she's walking up on me. Get away from me. I can stand you right can, here. You can go back to your car. No, I can stand Listen, right here. Back up away from me. No, I can stand right here. She's walking up on me. I'm not walking up on anyone. Your vehicle is all the way there. You're right here. Okay. And my vehicle is right there. Why are you walking over here to Why me? I'm talking you to the, the police. police cops? Listen, lady, go ahead on. Bitch, please. <laughs> Listen, could you? Does she have any weapons? I don't know what no, she has, I but do she's not drunk. Have any weapons. She's drunk. She's intoxicated. Oh, she's drunk. Yes. She just threw You're her dog. You're intoxicated. No, I don't. You're intoxicated. I don't drink or smoke. Oh, she she's intoxicated. Oh wait, let's get this. I love ice cream. <laughs> I love ice cream. Please, somebody. Okay, yeah, because it's an out of state tag. Yes, it's an out of state South tag. South Dakota. South Dakota. I'm sorry. South Dakota. South Dakota. Yes. South that's... Dakota plates. South Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. She okay. she live in her You're state. You're a fool. You know that? Okay. Listen, I told South you Dakota. You South Dakota. Okay. My questions have not been delaying them, but I do have questions. Before. Okay. She's over here. Do you even have a business license? I'm sorry. Do you have sorry? a seller's permit? Do you have a seller's permit to be yes. selling I'm ice cream? I'm talking to you. That's her talking. Do you have a seller's permit? I'm by permit? my vehicle. She's by Do me. Do you have a seller's permit? It don't matter. Oh, wait, it don't matter. It don't matter. Oh, it don't matter because I'm black. They go to the police right there. Oh, they go to the police right there. Thank you. Thank God they know Yes, me. I see the police officer. Yes, thank you. Uh, yes, thank you. Okay. How you doing? Yes, I called you. She just jumped out her car and tried to fight me. She threw her dog in the process. She's intoxicated. I have...
So some people had speculated that maybe OP had cut out her own sort of racial comments that may have provo- like some people were saying it could have provoked her to say the because I'm black thing. Um, no, as we can hear in the context here, she brought up race all on her own. The only time we hear OP bring up anything to do with race is at the very beginning when she is identifying Morgan to the police, which we know is a common thing that police ask the height, build, skin color, and sex of the person uh, that they're trying to identify. So that's not uncommon at all. OP posted a follow-up video right afterward, and this situation is very unique and interesting compared to our normal stories, at least, because the woman labeled Karen here is a public figure herself. And as a consequence, we get to see her own side of the story and response, which we normally don't get. However, I can't say Morgan really helped herself all that much with her own response, and she probably made things actively worse even. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's hear OP's side of the story. Keep in mind, too, that this is a follow-up that was posted before we had the unedited footage of what happened. There's not much of a part two because I didn't really record much when the officers got there out of respect for the officers. But it all started because she was backing up in a parking spot. She was completely backed up. I didn't think that she was going to come out anymore. But as I was passing her, she rushed out. She started screaming, oh, bitch, you're going to wait. And I was like, I was caught off guard. I was actually on the phone with my brother. She threw her dog off her lap, jumped out her car, came to my window. I wrote my window up and this happened before I started re recording because it happened so fast. Um, she blocked me in. I called the police. Um, the, the police came. She had them parked farther down. She walked over to me and was telling me how stupid I was and seeing all type of crazy stuff. Police came, they talked to me, they went over and talked to her. The traffic officer came and said basically because they didn't see her driving, it was nothing that they can do even though I showed them the video of her driving. I got upset. So here she says she showed the video to the cops of her driving, of Morgan driving, right? And we can see in her first edited video she posted that OP did record some kind of footage involving the cars, but that footage was never posted to TikTok other than the small snippet that we saw in that first video we just watched. There could be a perfectly reasonable explanation for why she didn't feel the need to post the truck footage itself, but I do think it would have been better if she had. At the end of the day though, the petty squabble over the parking space wasn't really what anyone was mad about here, so it doesn't matter all that much in the grand scheme of things. Let's keep going. And I said, had I took matters in my own hand, I would have been the one going to jail because I do have, I am licensed to carry. So had I used my gun when she ran up on me, I would have been in some trouble and the story would have been different. Uh, well, yeah, you can't just shoot someone in broad daylight because they approached you in public. I watched all the footage back again to make sure I didn't miss something, some part where Morgan got any kind of physical with her, but I didn't find anything like that. So this comment uh, that she made struck me as weird. Yes, if you shot someone for arguing with you, that would definitely get you in trouble. Yeah. So they basically did nothing. She'd already told me before they came that they weren't going to do anything because she knew them. The officer said that he didn't know them, but the two officers, the sergeant and the traffic officer didn't even go over to approach her or nothing. And that was just basically it. So the comment section on this video we just watched are turned off as well. And I can't be sure why, because I didn't honestly didn't get a chance to see them before they got um, removed. But I don't think it's crazy to assume they may have called her out on either the aforementioned comment about her carry permit or the fact that the first video was so heavily edited, probably a little bit of both. As OP tells it, Morgan was approaching her because Morgan wanted OP to wait while she pulled her massive truck out of her parking space, but OP kept moving her own truck forward thinking Morgan would wait herself. Strictly speaking, that means OP was probably in the right legally here because 
Through traffic almost always takes precedence over someone pulling out of a parking spot, meaning the onus is on the person in the parking spot to wait for a clear path to pull out, not on the person driving through the parking lot to stop and wait for you to pull out. This is a pretty common cause of parking lot road rage, but this one really kind of flew off the handle as a result. Okay, so now let's get to Morgan. I'd never heard of Unstoppable Morgan's YouTube channel before this debacle, so I had to, you know, kind of dive into her content a little bit to try and figure out, uh, figure her out a little bit better. And I was not prepared for what I found, to say the least. So Unstoppable Morgan is a travel vlog channel dedicated to Morgan's, uh, in her own words, ghetto rig lifestyle. She said that on her Instagram, meaning she travels around the country in a self-designed Ford Bronco rigged with basic home amenities with her dogs and makes videos about her adventures. And while you're watching her videos, uh, some of her old ones especially, you get a sense that she's a bit odd but kind of in a free spirit hippie sort of way, camping in nature locations all over the country and doing yoga on top of her car or making elaborate meals by the riverbed in a national park, that sort of thing. But something was kind of off about her to me, all that aside, and eventually I stumbled on some hard evidence that all was not as it seemed here, this uh, peaceful facade she had created. Um, that perhaps her loving free spirit shtick hid a darker passenger. Morgan's most recent video titled simply, My Last YouTube Livestream, Not Clickbait, Bye Bye, started off pretty weird. I'm live streaming and they just didn't even give a shit and they continued to play really loud. I was like, okay, that's nice. You guys are really, really cool. Uh, so I started to pack up and leave because I started to get angry because I'm in so much pain having my elbow sprained and my bottom of my foot sprained. Um, I think it's making me a little bit of an angry person. <laughs> so I have a very short fuse when people piss me off. I just feel like I'm going to accidentally explode and I'm going to get in a fight because I used to be like a bar fighter in my 20s. I would get drunk and if anybody was talking crap, I would jump across the bar and like punch people. I've been to jail like seven times, I kid you not. Um, <laughs> all for a lot of things like that, punching people, punching women, and just, okay, punched a dude. So I don't want to do that again. I've been to jail seven times. So Morgan is here on video right before her big blow up on this ice cream lady, admitting that she has a terrible temper, used to get in bar fights all the time in her 20s, and has been to jail seven different times for fighting or fighting related things. Interesting. Okay, so there's something to keep in mind as we move forward. More importantly though, I want to show you Morgan's response videos to the attention she got immediately after this video which, like I said before, really, really did not do her any favors with the crowd that was calling her racist for her uh, because I'm black comment in the video. Uh, it also didn't do her any favors with respect to her retelling of the events, as she said several very questionable things that arguably make OP's side look even more sensible. And keep in mind, a lot of these were short Instagram cuts from stories, but I stitched them together to the best of my ability, and I think we get a pretty full picture here. So this was her first response. A response video. Oh my god. I'm not a racist. I'm not a racist. That woman took everything out of context. That's the girl that called the cops. I didn't call the cops on her. It looks that way because she twisted the narrative. It looks the way that I called the cops on her. No. That's actually not true, just right off the bat. OP, in fact, didn't twist the narrative to make it look like Morgan called the cops at all. OP openly admits to calling the cops and even does so on her own recording that she posted to TikTok. Um, she blocked me in. I called the police. It's in the clip itself, her calling the cops. There was no question or discrepancy about this, even in the comments section of anyone who is discussing this. So it's completely made up. I was backing up and she was going this way and I got in her way and she was not having that. So she decided to throw her hands up in the air and you know me, I'm a fighter. So when she threw her hands up, I was like, you want to fight? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> and then 
And then she filmed it. So she's laughing about it and trying to make it sound all silly and unserious by using a dopey mimic voice, but she just admitted to trying to fight OP over a dumb road rage dispute, which she herself calls dumb. Uh, maybe OP's comment about her carry permit wasn't as out of pocket as we suspected initially. Interesting. So she went buckaroo on OP, saying, let's go, let's fight, and then was surprised when this woman literally driving an ice cream truck didn't want the hands over petty road rage disagreement and decided to call the police instead. Ay, yeah, yeah, you guys. This is so crazy. Like, I'm a racist all of a sudden. I'm a racist that is trying to take away the privilege of women. So that's just the first one, of course. She gave us quite a bit to work with. She posted several stories after that, which I was able to capture before they went away on her Instagram Live. The first was just this picture, which is just her making another out-of-touch joke about how she's not racist because her dog is black. And here she's again, obviously making a joke, but failing to read the room and realize this isn't a smart move. Uh, then she gives us a video of her response again, that's apparently meaning to override her old response, maybe because it got such terrible reception, uh, that we just watched while she literally waits out a storm. All right, here's the gist of it. Apparently this girl yesterday, they called the cops on me, posted a video on TikTok and it went viral. I don't have TikTok myself, do you? Apparently a lot of you do. She actually lied again here. She does have a TikTok. She just doesn't post on it very often. I'm getting hate text messages, death threats, cash app requests, you name it. Anyways, yeah, she uh, called the cops on me for backing up into her. And then when I realized she was calling the cops, I decided to say, do you have a permit? Do you have a permit? I will never live this down. I would like to say welcome. Welcome to the new 500 Instagram. <laughs> Deer in the headlights for sure. None of you guys actually like me. You're all just waiting to see a shit show. And then she also posted this video the following day. You can see the storm clears up, but this was her final live update, at least that I was able to track down. Hola, senores, senoritas. I wanted to give a quick quick update because I know a lot of you were concerned for my safety and you're like, you need to get out of Florida and people are going to try to kill you and we're worried about you. Mamacita is not living in fear. Everything's fine. And I appreciate you guys worrying, but everything's fine. This is absolute, this isn't my first rodeo. This is now the fourth time that somebody's used the Unstoppable Morgan hashtag to try to get YouTube famous. Apparently this girl's TikTok famous, but just like the girl Lace that scouted me out and used me for my channel, she was not YouTube famous. And I think somebody said that this girl that made the video about me only has 54 YouTube subscribers. YouTube is hard because YouTube isn't just a bunch of bots subscribing to your channel. That girl got 6 million views. Yeah, I bet you more than half of them are all bots. And uh, so yeah, YouTube's a hard platform to, to gain some traction on, it really is. And so if you can just use another popular YouTuber's name. Is that true, you guys? Is that what I'm doing here? Am I just clout chasing off of the unstoppable Morgan because I'm gel? So apparently the new story she's going for is that OP and everyone else is just using her for clout because they're really uh, you know, it's really hard to get YouTube subscribers, which is true. YouTube is way harder than TikTok to grow on as somebody who's done both. I got like over a million followers on TikTok in what, two months? It's not, it's not the same. But it's also not a good way to just hand wave away this whole debate you find yourself in the middle of. She probably posted it because she thought it was a good Karen clip for TikTok. It's silly to assume everyone has heard of you because you have like 150k YouTube subs, which, let's be real, is not a big channel. I wouldn't call my main channel big either, and it's double that size. I was going to make a response video, but I'm going to go ahead and listen to my brother on this one. He was like, do not give this any attention. In the past, the people that made videos about me, there's one guy that was claiming I slept with my grandfather and I lost 10,000 subscribers in one week after he posted that. We had David claim I never gave him money for his truck. These are all wannabe YouTubers. My ex-assistant makes stupid videos about me. Again, another wannabe YouTuber. Um, but I did at least want to, you know, for some of you guys that are here, let you know that I did not call the police, okay? I didn't call the police on her for not having a permit. She had already called the police and I was like, what are you doing calling the police right now for just like some road rage bull crap? Two women being stupid, 
you know, can't we just deal with this one on one? And I was pissed that she was calling the police. And so I that's when I started shouting, like, do you even have a permit? I was trying to get her to stop calling the police, but it was too late. They pulled up right then. So anyways, I didn't call the police and I'm most certainly not racist and I'm most certainly not harassing street vendors. So Morgan really has at this point kind of tried every trick in the book here from my dog is black to my ex-husband is black to uh, hola mamacita to she just wanted to clout chase off my channel. I'm getting dizzy. So alas, in the end, Morgan failed marvelously by any metric to prove that she wasn't the person she displayed in that footage and has since posted only one Instagram picture, which got over a thousand comments, the vast majority of which were references to the fateful ice cream incident that would finally stop the unstoppable Morgan. We'll never know if she was actually intoxicated as OP suggested suggested, but judging by her behavior in the other footage, she seems like she acts this way when she's perfectly sober. For now, Morgan seems to be done with her YouTube channel. Only time will tell if she tries to stage a comeback one day. Uh, the internet does have a pretty short memory. On OP's end, she used the opportunity to launch a free ice cream night for her neighborhood, using donations to give out ice cream to the kids in her local area, which is undeniably pretty wholesome and probably great for business. That's our story for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave new reckoning suggestion, suggestions, suggestions below and submit clips to Aiden at publicfreakouts.com. Thanks for watching and I will catch you later.